Rider, welcome back to uh, another video on what I do in my day job. Today we're looking at surface dressing. Very similar to Mark Rashfeld, it's a thin surface so we mask all the ironwork, sweep the roads. Our client gets any patching done that needs doing, which is sometimes minimal. Uh, surface dressing is uh, a binder application, a liquid binder, and then we place the chippings on top, which you'll see shortly. There's different types. This is what we call the uh, main train, which looks after the bigger sites. And later on in the year, we'll be looking at the combi, which looks after the smaller sites, so smaller machinery. The sites are assessed to see uh, how hard they are, so obviously if they're soft surface, then you'll need bigger chippings because the chippings embed into the existing surface and of all course it depends on uh, how much traffic uses it but that's the first uh, first uh, binder layer uh, what we used to call tar and chippings but the tar give everybody cancer so uh, the uh, new products are so-called friendly and supplied at a certain rate and the machinery sprays the liquid out exactly the same so if you want more on you go slower if you want less on you go faster So this is what you call a wrapped in dressing. So there's a, a 10 mil first layer and then uh, gets followed by uh, some six mil. You get double dressings where they put another layer of binder on top and then some six mil and chippings are put on according to the spec. follows behind cleaning up the paths and then it's rolled once it's been rolled uh, you can drive on it but obviously the hazard is uh, loose chippings the loose chippings will stay on here uh, for a couple of days then more chippings will come off and it's swept again uh, periodically uh, depending uh, on the amount of traffic uh, and the weather conditions this is a, a really fast treatment four miles an hour we can cover quite a big area and it will you know give it another 10 years life uh, roughly depending on the condition of the road that we're doing which uh, we can get this site done say in two hours where if you was to rip it all up and start again it would probably take uh, two weeks so less inconvenience to the traveling public and the residents my regular viewers always ask how do I cope with work, home life and my allotment? But we do. We have to manage our time. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like and maybe consider subscribing to see future updates of what I do. Bye bye my friends.